Adam Bidwell reveals that Duke called him to ask for financial counsel after the divorce. It was revealed this week that Harry No Meghan has secret ties to Nexium. Harry asked Adam Bidwell about his recent financial problems while he was in the midst of his divorce from Meghan. It covers how he can afford to live after a divorce. Harry's financial status was described by his friend as in crisis. He needs a counselor to help him through this phase. The Duke of Sussex is allegedly taking a step back from the spotlight of Meghan's showbiz world while Meghan explores her next career move. It appears that Harry is content with assuming a more subdued role in the U.S. He is seldom seen in the celebrity circles that his wife is accustomed to, as Harry seems to prefer maintaining a low profile away from the cameras. Did Meghan Markle have ties to the sex called Nexium? It would appear she may have. This isn't confirmed by any means, though. It shows that Meghan knows many more people than she wants the public to know of. So, according to the forum Tattle Life, a Twitter user found an old tweet dating back to 2014, two years before the Suits actress met her idiot prince. It was from Hannah Bronfman, whose aunt Claire and Sarah Bronfman were caught up in the Nexium sex cult. Hannah Bronfman wrote, I mean, we should probably take them up on this Meghan Markle right before she married Britain's dim-witted Prince Harry. Before Markle married Britain's dim-witted Prince Harry, Markle was a minor Hollywood actress in the cable TV show Suits. But she was more than an actress. Persistent rumors on the internet say she was also a yacht girl, an actress or model, typically female, who supplements her income by prostituting herself on yachts owned by millionaires and billionaires. The term for yachting, however, has been generalized to include not just prostituting on yachts but sex for pay with wealthy men, no matter the venue. According to the National Enquirer, in 2017, after Harry and Meghan were engaged to be married, MI5 scrubbed the net of Meghan's salacious past, sealed her court and medical records, and silenced her friends and acquaintances with hush money and non-disclosure agreements. However, Meghan Markle was more than a yada. She may be connected to the torture and sex trafficking cult at Nexium. This is why she was so good at snaring Prince Harry. She got all the tricks. I'm amazed that she was allowed to marry into the family, probably the royals wanted Harry off their hands. I thought that when she was put in the picture with Epstein to be honest and she had been with Andrew and the Saudi prince then someone did say who was one of the girls Meghan also did pick women. Up don't know how true it was but did get said when it come out the court over Andrew could call her up but we now know her past Abbott wouldn't apostrophe t dot surprise and it makes you wonder the things she is getting away with so. Blatantly is she blackmailing others to cover her tracks put that Marcus was also part of that group did make you think maybe. Hannah Bronfman is the niece of Claire Bronfman, the youngest daughter of billionaire former Seagram Liquor Chairman Edgar Bronfman Sr. Claire is currently in prison for conspiracy to make money off illegal trafficking. Claire and her sister Sarah Bronfman were heavily involved in the criminal Nexium as financial backers, committed followers, and trainers. In April 2019, Claire pleaded guilty to conspiracy to conceal and harbor illegal aliens for financial gain and fraudulent use of identification.